Okay, so now I want to go over the last component and your last line of defense basically in the safe action system in the Glock. And that is your firing pin safety block. And uh, the si firing pin safety block is the last um, safety in the system because basically all your other safeties had to fail for this safety to have to matter. And that's because the firing pin now is flying home. It is going to hit the firing pin uh, in the chamber and make the gun go off. Um, but you didn't pull the trigger. So every other safety failed somehow, which they shouldn't in the Glock because they're you know really good safeties and they work really well the way the gun is designed. But if they did, this is the fail safe right here. This is this firing pin safety block. Um, when the, there's a spring underneath it and that spring pushes it up into place where it's locked. So right now the um, firing pin block is in place. It's impossible for the uh, firing pin to come forward and and hit the uh, uh, the uh, primer. Uh, you have to actually push in this this block and then you can move the firing pin forward to where it can actually hit the uh, primer. You can pull it back like that. So, um, But basically what's going on here is there's a spring tension in there that is heavy enough, uh, the spring is strong enough to overpower the mass of this part. This part has its own mass because it is metal. We talked about that in the first video on the, um, the uh, trigger uh, drop safety. Um, but basically what's going on here is if you were to drop the gun now on the top of the gun like this, this part becomes energized and wants to move downward because it has, once it's in motion, it needs something to stop it from being in motion. And that spring inside of there is what stops it from um, moving on its own downward and moving out of the way. So that spring pressure um, I would advise you not to change that spring weight out. I mean, this is literally your last line of defense for the gun not to go off when you don't want it to. Um, I wouldn't change the spring weight out in this part um, that's underneath here unless you change this part out. And what I mean by that is if you want to lighten the spring weight of this safety, you need to lighten the mass of this safety. So you would need to get a titanium safety or something that is uh, somehow lighter than the stock steel part. Because if you don't, if you just lighten the spring and you don't lighten the mass of this, then this part may have enough mass dropped hard enough to overpower the spring that is underneath it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't adjust that unless you uh, replace that part altogether with maybe a titanium part. Um, so basically, how that works is it's another system where you cannot, this cannot be compressed um, unless you pull the trigger. And the only way that's going to be compressed when you pull the trigger is that the uh, attach this part that comes up off the trigger bar itself has to move rearward and when it moves rearward you can see that um, this little slope right here kind of engages um, the edge of that and it pushes it in and then at the full uh, trigger pull where your trigger is completely back the top of this um, engages it to where it pushes this and has it completely compressed and then the um, firing pin can actually go home all the way so it all happens within a split second there as you're pulling the trigger um, all the safeties disengage and the gun can fire and every time you let go of the trigger all the safeties re-engage so it's a pretty uh, interesting system pretty neat um, and then uh, but that's your last line of defense in a drop scenario um, the only other way the gun's gonna go off when you, without you wanting it to go off is if you're being negligent some way and you're not careful and you end up pulling the trigger accidentally it's really the only way a Glock can go off so you can feel safe with a gun like this. You just need to make sure you keep it in a holster that covers the trigger guard. And um, as long as you're not going to accidentally pull the trigger and you're you know, careful and, and know how to handle your firearm, there's no way the Glock safe action system will allow the gun to go off inadvertently.